I want to get the map on the video. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure what these red X's mean. Maybe that trails they're doing a reclamation on that. Because uh, <clears throat> I, I don't know what this... Uh, well, I've been to the Lynchburg Dog Park, and then it looks like they're trying to take it out a portion of the trail. I'm not sure. But anyway, we're just going to go down by the, uh, the creek here. <clears throat> you know, uh, hike around through here for a bit. Um, and then you can see that over here, by the way, I, the nice thing about this trail system is you can get just about anywhere in Lynchburg uh, off of the trails. <clears throat> like when I had some people staying at the Lynchburg General Hospital, I'll show you those bridges, unless this is it right here. <clears throat> so, uh, and then I uh, eventually, maybe while we're here, I'll get down to the Percival Island. That's a beautiful bike trail. <clears throat> I've, uh, I brought my bike the last time I was here and I, you know, rode it and I, I don't know why they don't extend it. It kind of just ends right up here in Amherst. Um, so anyway, we'll, we're going to get another hike in today. This will be good. Woohoo! So those red X's on the sign, this is very important. And uh, I'm glad to see Lynchburg doing this because I have hiked this trail and it was getting quite washed out. Um, so it looks like they're going to uh, try to reclaim this. And uh, we'll continue on down the trail and uh, get to where the trails are open. Entrance to the trail system, uh, which was the second one down. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I don't, you know, I'll tell you, I don't think I've ever <laughs> hiked this one because I always hit the first one and came out way down the way. So this would be interesting for me. But you can kind of see, I mean, this is a real treasure that Lynchburg has that they do have these trails. And, you know, one thing that is kind of strange is up on the bike path. No, I've been down this before. I remember this tree. Because uh, I always grab onto it because I'm afraid I'm, I'm going to slip right here. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> what's, what's strange is uh, how people will stick to the paved bike path rather than come down here into the woods. Uh, as far as I know, there's no bears uh, in here. I, there might be. I've never seen one or heard of one. Because uh, this is, you know... You're pretty much in the in the center of the city right here, you know. Um, yeah, so there's a huge population around here. A lot of them moved uh, from up north uh, here to Lynchburg. Um, so you know you can kind of see what the trail looks like. Uh, you know you got a, a uh, well I, I guess you could, creek bed right over here, and uh, this will just continue on along. I'm hoping to get these uh, really cool uh, bridges. They go across the, the main creek, uh, which you saw on the last video from, from up top. Boy, the lighting was really bad on that one. I'm hoping that uh, it's going to turn out better today. Um, you know, I like hiking in the evenings, but this GoPro just doesn't seem to be making good, good videos when the lighting is not perfect, you know. But uh, we'll see when I get home uh, what this will look like. Um, I'm enjoying uh, enjoying hiking around Lynchburg. i uh, got to get up on the parkway uh, soon and of course get out to Liberty but I thought I'd continue with the Blackwater Creek Trail and see the nice little bridge here pretty cool huh <clears throat> and uh, we'll get some more video when things change but you can you really get the feel like you know maybe you know I'm up on the, in the mountains you know another thing I am going to try to get in uh, and uh, well I'll tell the story when I get there but I want to try to hit a section of the Appalachian Trail just to show you what that looks like that is some tough tough hiking and when i was younger i always had this ambition of of hiking the entire appalachian trail and now i'm too old to, if i i guess if i really got in the gym and worked out three hours a day and ate right and you know did that for six months i might be able to hike the appalachian trail because uh, it is brutal i mean that is it's a lot different than hiking the florida trail which is just kind of nice and flat and uh but buggy and you know ticks and you know a lot more of that than you have on the Appalachian Trail. But then of course on the Appalachian you got you got bears, you know. So it's uh everything's a trade-off when you get out here. But isn't this beautiful? I just love it. Uh, hopefully the lighting up here is is, is going to be uh, uh, sufficient. Uh, so here's a here's a little bridge, you know. And we're not going to take that route. I want to try to get to um, where this goes by the creek, and so I'll continue on in this direction. And uh, we'll get some more video when we when we get there. All right. Dead end. I was hiking along the river. I could go up right here, but what I'll do is turn back, um, or the creek, uh, 
so they're reclaiming this which is good you know one thing i <laughs> just it just hit me uh because I'm, I'm hoping to give you a view of the creek over here in just a second but i was thinking about when i was up at uh otter creek the last time i was here and the leaves were falling and because you know the leaves are on the ground you can't see <laughs> if, there's a, if there's a snake underneath the leaves, you know. And so that was when I stepped on that black racer. So here's a here's the creek. So I've got a little a little view here. Uh, quite nice. Uh, once again, garbage, garbage, garbage everywhere you go. Tire in the creek, you know. Um, but uh, I always, you know, in my in my youth, I always wanted to uh, kayak this or just take a canoe down it or some some sort of flotation. Uh, there's certainly not a tube because that creek back then was really polluted. Now, with the new sewer system here in Lynchburg, they cleaned that up quite a bit, but I still <laughs> I still wouldn't trust that water, I can tell you that, because I do know they have overflows uh, when it rains really hard, uh, they go into that creek. Um, so, but uh, Lynchburg has spent a lot of money on its sewer system. Uh, look again, once once some being more garbage, you know, so... Uh, We'll get some more video when I get on the other side of that little bridge back there and we'll go on in that direction and enjoy just hiking around in the woods here. I'm sorry we couldn't get that portion of the trail in, but I respect uh, their wishes to reclaim it. I'm not going to violate the uh, the uh, trail closed uh, mandate because uh, I do consider trail reclamation very important. So let's uh, let's get to that bridge and continue on in that direction. Got some good lighting behind me. Just thought I'd get a little more of the trail, a little rocky through here. And uh, this is kind of what it looks like to call this the uh, Creekside Trail. Uh, that's new, that post wasn't there in, in, in years past, when I, because it's been a long time obviously since I've done this trail. Uh, you know, like I said, I, once again, I haven't seen a single person. Now, if you're a, if you're a walnut person, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of walnuts along the trail that you could uh, pick up and uh, let them ripen up and eat uh, so that's uh you know if you wanted to forage out here for some food um, but uh, you can see the creeks just over here on my right and it's just kind of winding along I just thought I'd uh, since I got good lighting now what I'm gonna do uh, is I'm gonna show you the bridge that you can cross uh, one of the things uh, that I've had to do here in Lynchburg quite often um, his visit people in uh, Lynchburg General Hospital, at least I hope that's still the name. And, uh, you know, always I made a, an adventure out of it. I would just park back there at the entrance to the, to the Blackwater Creek Trail. Didn't bring my hiking stick, probably should have. And, uh, you know, and then I would hike this trail to go visit them. All dead now, by the way. Not a single one still alive. Um, but, uh, and I'd hike this trail just to go visit them because that way, you know, it was kind of, you know, combined thing. Because it is depressing to visit anybody in the hospital, uh, you know, and you know, that's why I always tell my wife to just stay away, you know, when I'm in the hospital. Because, I, you know, usually I'm either pissed off or depressed and, you know, not very pleasant company to be around. And, uh, you know, you, some people enjoy company, you know, they want to want you to pay them a visit and, you know, you just gotta gotta get a feel for it when you when you go in to visit them and see what uh, what they think. You know, see you know, do they want you there or not? You know, usually if it's just a friend, it's always good to see them. But if it's a close relative, a lot of times, you know, especially like your wife, you know, and she she never obeys my wishes. That's that's a problem. You know, if she tells me to stay away, I stay away. You know, that's the difference. Uh, you know, in in our uh, attitudes there. So almost uh, so um, anyway I'm trying to get a feel for uh, you know the the city and uh, it's quite split uh, I can't believe that after the, all the things that have happened with Afghanistan and everything else uh, that uh, people are actually going to vote Democrat but it sure does look that way so I think it's going to be a very tight race uh, you know what side I'm on and I uh, you know, I continue to ask people about the, the mask mandates and all of that. And one shocking thing that, that I have found um, is how many people go, well, I know that businesses of 100 or more have to have to wear masks and get the vaccine. And I'm like, why? Uh, no, that's a federal mandate. And I'm like, 
You know that's being contested in court and most people consider that an unconstitutional uh, order, correct? And then they just look at me with these vacant stares. <laughs> you know? And I said, and there are states like Florida that have uh, said they were not going to obey that, you know. And they just give me a vacant stare, you know, like they have no clue what the what battles are taking place on a constitutional basis, you know, in the courts and uh, within the elections and everything. So you can see right here, hiking by the creek. So I guess I'll just wait till we get to uh, that bridge across the creek and uh, we'll enjoy that. And then I'll hike up to the hospital and just kind of show you, you know, how you can get there or show people in Lynchburg. If any of, anybody from Lynchburg ever watches or if, if you visit Lynchburg, if you ever get somebody in the hospital this would be a wonderful way to to make a fun day out of it you know that way you're not depressed you know i mean i know the person in the hospital will be but uh, at least you'll have a good day hiking along the creek here and i you know here's here's just one thing to throw out to you would you rather be hiking down here in the woods along the creek or up on the paved bike trail uh where you really can't see anything except you know where the train used to go you tell me maybe leave a comment below tell me what you think so here this is this is the nice thing about uh hiking the creekside trail here i don't even know how you interpretive interpretive free freer trail I guess that's how you pronounce that. But anyway, at any time you can uh, just head back up to the uh, the paved trail. But I wanted to get this on the, you know, that's a nice thing because uh, when it does get dark, uh, you know, I do want to hike on the pavement and not be down here in the woods uh, hiking because um, it is going to get dark on me for sure. Uh, so, because uh, yeah, I, once again, I got a late start. Uh, who knew? Toilet. Uh, at my mom's house needs to be replaced. I won't get in the grocery out or anything. Um, so this is the T H O M Thompson Drive, uh, and so that's where we're going to head. Let's get up on the bridge here and get some video while I still got some light. Yeah, I got to head out to. Well, right now I'm trying to talk to the few people I know that are still alive here in Lunchburg and or that talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what I think of my scumbag relatives. Uh, um, so I, you know, we're not on a talking basis. That's for doggone sure. They won't even visit my mother. But uh, so there's the creek from the bridge, and see, isn't this nice and uh, you know, well built? Uh, been here a while, obviously. Of course, I've never, never understood. You know, I mean, I know this is probably treated lumber. And here, look at here. They got it. Stupid people I want to carve. A, Hell is for whatever. I don't want to even do them the justice of reading, reading that. But uh, so you can see, you know, this is very nice hike to get to the hospital, and we'll get some video when I get on that uh, drive of the hospital, and then I may just have to go back up to the uh, the paved trail now that I'm across uh, across the way here. Um, like you know, other than that few rocky areas there, you can see. It's a nice, easy hike, because you're, you know, basically hiking next to a river. So, you know, rivers, are, they just flow, you know, it's gradual, gradual decline as a, as the river flows along, or a creek, I guess it's a creek. Um, so, uh, but uh, we'll go up, uh, go up, get a shot of the hospital, and that's probably all I'm going to have light for, unfortunately. Um, so, isn't that beautiful? Hard to believe I'm in the center of a city. Uh, this was uh, this was my dad's doing. He preserved all of this uh, way back in the 70s as the recreation director. I, let's give him kudos, William Peyton Ellis. Uh, I uh, I'm very proud to to be a, a part of his legacy here in Lynchburg, Virginia. You know, unfortunately, he's completely forgotten because I mentioned you know uh, his name to people and they just give me a blank stare. Who the hell was that? You know, um, but uh, anyway, at least he's, he's up on a couple of these videos. And as I continue to make videos here in Lynchburg, I'll, I'll give him a shout out as whenever I can. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, great man. Um, had his flaws, don't get me wrong. 
you know, just like everybody else, you know. But uh, overall, I mean, uh, he, he did a hell of a lot of good in his lifetime. And uh, uh, I'm hoping I can say the same by making these videos. All righty. Let's get the next video at the hospital. The trail just kind of continues along like this. And uh, so I don't won't need to get any more. I think the I noticed the lighting was really bad on my last video, but I had some things to say. So, you know, even though the lighting was bad, um, at least I carried on a conversation about things I thought were important. All right, so let's get us out of the hospital next. Much further along on the trail, and I just wanted to show you this. Uh, uh, you know I'm more of an evening hiker than a morning hiker, because uh, I like it because it's things are cooling down and uh, um, you know, of course I'll be hiking back in the dark, uh, so, uh, and that's fine with me, you know, uh, whether I'm on the bike trails, but I just wanted to put this out there to people hiking in Lynchburg. You do want to do evening hikes like I do. Um, see, the nice thing is, uh, while it's still light, I can, well, I can dive up by the hospital, and then, uh, of course, you know, all the streets are very well lit with sidewalks, and you could walk back to your car that way uh, if you if the darkness in the woods scares you uh, so you don't have to do the bike trail you could just hike back through the city streets and uh, watch all the cars go by um so uh so you know that's uh and that's why i'm not even worried about it getting dark you know it's it's not like being up on the parkway or hiking the appalachian trail you wouldn't want to <laughs> you wouldn't want to get dark there i can tell you that so uh but uh so here we go Here's Thompson Drive. Oh, isn't it funny how I just cut the video on? So I'm going to take a right here, go up and get the uh, the hospital on the video where I have spent a lot of time. Luckily, I wasn't the patient. I was just the visitor. But uh, And then also, I do like going uphill like this. It gets the heart rate up. So I just wanted to get this on the video. So we just came up right there. And this is a dead end into the park. And uh, so then we're coming up. You can see the hospital at the top of the hill. And I got a few stories when I get up there. I want to enjoy this hike up the hill, try to get my heart rate up. I'm even going to try to jog it just a little bit. So my dad's doctor used to be in that building right there. And uh, in his waning years, I used to come and try to talk to his doctor because uh, he really couldn't drive a car. I got to got so bad I, I wouldn't even ride with him. And so I would try to get the doctor to, you know, medically take his license away. Uh, but then, uh, you know, my dad never trusted me about anything. So I, doctor looked and I wasn't even on dad's HIPAA forms. And uh, he said, he said, I can't talk to you. You're not on your dad's HIPAA forms. Uh, please leave my office. I said, okay, fine, you know. So then I took mom because she was on his HIPAA forms and we both went over there and I let her make the argument and uh, here in Virginia Well, you gotta you gotta be half dead before they'll take your license away or at least that's the way it was back then So uh, I wanted to get this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm not gonna film it But I'm gonna go in the hospital And I want to find out if they're getting ready to let nurses go because that's what I was told by somebody hiking on the trail for the vax mandate and uh, plus I want to let them know that we're hiring in Florida. Any nurse that gets fired here in Lynchburg is welcome to come to Florida and get a job. Uh, we certainly need nurses in Florida because uh, so many people moving in and so many old people to take care of. Uh, so if any nurse in Florida, in Virginia, losing your job, uh, come on down to Florida. It's only, uh, well, it took me 17 hours, but I went a bad way. If you went the correct way, you could probably make the drive in about... Uh, well, let's say 12, 13 hours to get to Central Florida. Um, so, all right, let's go in here and find out if the nurses are being fired here in Lynchburg, Virginia. Woohoo!